Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be an energy check-in for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Capricorn, I'm going to tell your love story. Just of course, this reading is not going to resonate with every single one of you. If it does not resonate, check your Moon, your Venus, your Rising placements. If it does, I'm strongly picking up on your energy Capricorn just know I have no control over it this is just what spirit's giving me to see at the moment if you want to know more about it about your current situation with your person whether it's a past present or maybe you're wondering about future love if you're wondering here if your current person is lying to you if they have good intentions how do they currently think and feel about you what can you anticipate and or expect Reach out for a personal reading. My email's in the description box below this video. And I have a lover special you can use to take advantage of for only $33.33. Alright, Capricorn, I'm going to do a past, present, future. Let's see here what happened, okay, between you and this person. All right, past energies here. We have strength, king of cups, and justice. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you have been dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Leo, or a Libra. Honestly, what I'm seeing here is you made a decision here to walk away from a situation that it was hard, it was difficult. You felt like you no longer deserved this type of type of reaction, type of situation. You may have just gotten yourself bored and sick and tired of it. You felt like you deserved better. And I feel like with justice here and strength, I mean, to really make this decision, I feel like it was not easy for you to do was not definitely not easy to come by it you had a lot of feelings attached to this person you have a lot of history you know with this person whether you know it could have been short-lived it could have been a really long serious relationship committed one to possibly but I'm feeling here a connection definitely here was made okay it doesn't necessarily have to be Cancer Scorpio Pisces Libra or a Leo it can be any other sign but the feelings you felt for this person, I mean, it was pretty intense. For our, I mean, you got two major arcanas here with the court card. We'll clarify here the justice and strength. I am kind of curious, honestly. But I feel like you made a decision here to walk away or you felt like you had no choice but to make this decision. However, whatever reason... Whatever reason it was for you to walk, you eventually kind of turned your back on it is what I'm seeing. <clears throat> Either ended it with a person, blocked this person, gave this person an ultimatum, or, you know, said, look, this just ain't for me. Okay, or maybe this is what they said to you. I'm feeling here this is a breakup, but this is an unwanted breakup. Just what I'm getting right now. Let's see what's going on in the present moment. Wow, Capricorn, okay. So, and I'm also seeing here some of you could have gotten involved in something legal in the recent or distant past, maybe specifically with this person is also what Spirit is showing me. Some of you also may have been um, divorced or separated or in the process of leaving uh, a connection or relationship here with somebody or the person you're connected to was um, in the process of doing that with their person, okay? Some of you, this is a third-party situation, but of course, not all of you. In the present moment, though, what I'm getting here for someone, Capricorn, I feel like you're talking to someone new, or you could have been talking to someone for a while, but there is somebody here in your life 
That piques your curiosity and now maybe fully have your full undivided attention. Maybe they didn't so much in the beginning because you uh, weren't sure how you were going to move forward yet. Because there was somebody here in your past you still had very strong feelings for is what I'm getting. You felt like maybe it was your fault you want to make things right with them or this was them wanting to do this with you. I'm seeing here balancing of the scales. Somebody here wanted to bring justice, okay, to a situation, bring fairness, okay, um, make something right again, okay. But I'm seeing here with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups, Spirit's kind of showing me right now. There is something kind of starting here, Capricorn. I don't know if this is someone new that just uh, you met, but there's a lot of communications going on, though. We're not really flirting, maybe intensely, passionately. We're really... We're, we're really kind of, I mean, this person's kind of growing on you. The more you talk to them, the, I meant this could be all day, all night, every day, or this could be like once a few days or once a week, however this is. I feel like the, the what you guys are saying to each other, it's, it's of substance, you know? It's not like just flirty whatever messages. I feel like it has some weight to it because the Two of Cups here talks about oh my god, I think I found my soulmate, like, I don't know, I feel a real connection here, this is kind of weird, I haven't felt this, maybe for, this could be the one, you know, I don't really want to jump the gun and just get too ahead of myself, but, you know, someone here is maybe thinking that, like, um, what is happening here with the lovers, you could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I don't know, you kind of feel like, I, I, th I think I have a future with this person. I think I, I don't know, something here is happening. So let's take a look here and see what's what's going to fall in your future position, okay? Um, <clears throat> um, you guys may have also recently or maybe planning to meet somebody up for drinks, for, for a date, for dinner. Maybe even with a friend. Maybe go, you want to invite someone, be a plus one. I do see here some people just celebrating something or, you know, coming together to hang out, chill a little bit, get to know each other a little bit more. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wow. Capricorn. This could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. Okay, I'm going to stop saying the signs. You guys know it could be any sign, but I always just want to say the signs that do show up in the reading. Because <clears throat> it could be pretty significant for somebody. Okay. Um, man, Capricorn, in your near future, it looks like... I do see here someone here that may have, see that, that goes back to that justice, king of cups, strength. I feel like that's the person who you left. Okay, because here's a situation here with the five of pentacles in your near future saying the six of swords. Okay, whoever broke your heart felt made you feel abandoned, left out, rejected, unwanted, or for some reason the situation never really moved forward. Okay, either it was a breakup, it was an argument, it was a misunderstanding, it was a fight. This person here, I feel some of you, even though this happened here, as you can kind of see, they're still holding two cups. Like, even though there were problems in this relationship, even though, okay, some things didn't really go well here, they are wanting to come back and be like, hey, Capricorn, like, I know we've had issues, I know we have problems, and I know, I know you have every reason to not want to be with me, to not hear me out, but look, can we try to, um, 
can we call truce? Can you just hear me out? Can you just hear what I have to say? Here's a drink for you. Or, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm really getting that because I feel like something here happened. They hurt you. They left you. They told you to leave. They told you they weren't sure if they wanted this. For all of you, whatever reason, maybe you did this to them. They really want to come back here and fix the situation here with you. This is saying someone from your past does want to come back. <clears throat> this could be the person you were involved with, the person you felt this intense, intense, intense connection with. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, these are soulmates. You don't have to be with a water sign, but I feel like you guys understood each other on such an empathetic, um, emotional level. It wasn't just an emotional connection. There was, you know, you guys just understood each other. You guys were on the same page. Words just didn't even, weren't even really required here when we have the Queen and King of Cups because they're very inquisitive people. They're very inquisitive, very intuitive, intuitive people. And I feel like that's who you guys are. You guys are very intuitive. And you found someone here who was very much like-minded and someone who, I don't know, is just a very intense connection here with the strength card, okay? But I feel like someone here, whether it be you or them, because here I also have um, the Ten of Pentacles. It means to me right now in this reading, this person obviously wants to come back and fix things. I feel like you might actually give this person a chance. Someone here wants to come to you now and say, Capricorn. Look, I'm sorry. I couldn't offer you that commitment. I'm sorry. Everything pretty much went to shit here. Okay. Um, but look, I, I want you and I don't know what I was doing. You know, you were, you were the one I wanted here at the Ten of, Com Com Ten of Pentacles to me right now is commitment, home, stability, you know, there's this like this lady is like saying bye to her man, you know, or this could be to your woman. Like, look, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. OK, and he's still flirting with her. You know, this is like they're happy. Their kids are in the back playing like I want this with you. I really want this with you. I want to build a home. I want to build something, um, you know, I want to have, the, you know. Uh, here we have the six of pentacles here. This is a balance of giving and receiving, you know, this is this is really weird here and then <clears throat> The bottom of the deck here is the star energy Star to me right now is recovery hope renewal regeneration of a connection. So Essentially here Capricorn. There is someone here You could be already talking to them right now those of you and I'm not saying here everyone's going to go back to an ex, okay? Because I know for me, me personally, I would not do that. <laughs> but I do understand the intensity of these two people. They're definitely soulmates. So if, if this is you, okay, uh, Capricorn, I do see here is going to be a blast from the past. And someone here wants to give you or offer you something they had trouble offering you in the beginning. But I'm also getting for someone here, those of you who... Um, disconnected from someone from your past. There's someone new in your life now because we have the two of cups, knight of swords, three of cups. You just met someone randomly, just kind of out of the blue. Wow, what an amazing, intense connection this is. You want to hold on to that. You could be hearing from your ex and they're still, they're the ones pouring out their feelings to you and you still choosing to stick with what you have because you found something here you're not going to walk away or give up on. Okay, so let me clarify here the justice and strength. Thank you. <clears throat> wow, someone here uh, really walked away from this situation. I am also seeing here a child could have been had from this connection, whether it's a secret affair or in this relationship. I am seeing here with Empress, okay, and a baby. Um, some of you, there was a love child. 
someone here um, also may have wanted a divorce, also asked for a divorce because there was a child. Now, obviously, that's not going to be for all of you, but I am seeing that with the Empress and the world, I am also kind of getting here for those of you where, you know, there was no child, hell, there wasn't even no sex, maybe not yet, or maybe there was, doesn't matter. This to me here as a reader right now means you are ready to give up this, give up your your single bachelor, bachelorette lifestyle, your independence for this person. The empress here is ready to give birth to new ideas, new creations. She's ready to settle and settle down, you know, really honor, really take care, really nurture, okay? Um, a connection here. I feel like you felt very, very strongly here for somebody. For someone here, this is a Taurus, Libra also. Could be also Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus again. I have I have a few signs repeating here more than once. But the Ten of Swords also coming out. It says, yeah, this was a very painful, painful experience for you. I feel like this was someone you did not want to walk away from. I actually do feel like this is a soulmate or twin flame kind of thing. There's a runner and chaser dynamic. With sign. Finally, somebody here, you know, said, okay, fine. I can't do this. Six of Pentacles again. There is, wow, and the Queen of Pentacles. There's you, Capricorn. Okay, he or she does not matter. But I feel like, see, I'm telling you, someone here is very sorry. Someone here wants to make something right or they want to kind of give you a little surprise telling you, you're, hey, you're on my mind. I'm thinking about you. You're the one that I want. And I am leaving. I'm disconnecting. I'm doing what it is you want me to do. I feel like for some of you, this is a third party situation. It could have involved a marriage, um, a commitment. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of changes coming up for you guys in your love life. For whoever this is, I'm strongly picking up on Capricorn. If you guys need, oh well, let me get a, let me get your advice here. If you need a personal reading, Capricorn, reach out. If you need an energy update, go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so for messages here, I'm gonna do two. What's the advice here for Capricorn and what would be the advice for Capricorn's cross watcher? Okay. It was finances and career. <clears throat> and okay, whenever I get this card, it says religious factors. Your love life was influenced by or is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like with this, it's not in finances and career. This is obviously saying what happened here or what's maybe going on for you. You had to be very selective and decide who or what you were going to prioritize someone. It was because of marriage. It was because of someone's religion. It was because of their job. It was because of their school. It was because of their work. It was maybe they were in a financial bind. Okay. But keep an open mind here and saying Capricorn and also to your person, keep an open mind. Maybe your person is not your regular type. Maybe it's not your usual type and expectations, but there's something here big worth waiting for Capricorn. Your love life is about to change. I told you guys that before I saw that. Um, wow, Capricorn, I hope this reading made more sense to you guys than it does to me. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. I'll be back for another energy update for maybe the second half of November, maybe in a couple of weeks. Or you guys just can get me now in a personal reading, so I'll see you there. Bye, Capricorn.